Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you about the concept of a gold standard and what this concept means in the context of natural language processing. A gold standard, or a ground truth, refers to some body of human verified data that can be used as a benchmark for evaluating the performance of natural language processing models. To put it simply, a gold standard is a baseline for human performance on some natural language processing task. It's also important to understand that gold standards are abstractions of language use. Think, for example, of placing words into specific word classes. Those classes are not given to us by nature, but they are abstractions imposed on language by theories of grammar. Language is naturally subjective and ambiguous, so we might not always agree on how to describe a particular instance of language use. Generally, we want to have reliable gold standards that we agree on in order to have a solid benchmark for measuring the performance of natural language processing models. We can measure agreement between individuals on some body of data using statistical methods known as inter-annotator agreement measures. One traditional measure of agreement is known as Cohen's kappa, which ranges from minus one to plus one, where minus one indicates perfect disagreement on the data, whereas one stands for complete agreement. Zero, in turn, indicates completely random agreement between the two individuals. Cohen's kappa is limited to just two annotators or two individuals describing the data and the categories in which the data is placed must be defined in advance. In other words, we want to correct the estimate for the possibility that the individuals describing the data just happen to agree by chance. We can calculate Cohen's kappa using Python by using the scikit-learn library. In this cell, I import the Cohen kappa score function from the scikit-learn library and more specifically its submodule for metrics. When I run this cell, then we will have the Cohen kappa score function available in Python. Next, I'm going to define a toy example which consists of two Python lists that contain five part of speech tags each and I assign them under the variables a1 and a2. Now that we've defined the two lists which do not contain the same items so they don't completely agree with one another, we're going to feed the two lists to the Cohen kappa score function that we just imported from scikit-learn. And this is simply done by inputting both of the variables referring to these lists to the Cohen kappa score function and placing them within the parentheses. And if I run this cell, then we will get a Cohen kappa score value of 0 0.44. So this is our estimate of agreement, which has been corrected for the chance that the two annotators represented by these lists would agree by chance. Finally, we can take a look at the table proposed by Landis and Co, which gives some criteria on making sense of the Cohen kappa score values. And in this case, um, our result 0 0.44 would indicate moderate agreement. To sum it up, if you're developing a gold standard for some task, it's rarely feasible to have all of the data annotated by two or more individuals. In most cases, you take a subset of the data and measure agreement on this subset. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below.